never outperform your belief level. See, I came to the business with a belief level of making part-time income. And that's what I did. My first year, I got one recruit. My second year, though, I got another one. And my third year, I got three recruits. So that's five recruits for those of you who went to A&T in three years, right? I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. Five recruits in three years, that's insane. That's insane. How many of y'all in the business and after three years, y'all making $100,000? Look, I mean, look, this is insane. The opportunity is great. But what happened to me, you all, was I had to be in an environment conducive to winning. See, if you want to change your belief level, if you want to change your mindset, you have to be in an environment conducive to winning. And this is that environment. Listen, when I came into the business, you, how many of y'all, now maybe some of y'all made a lot of money, but is there anybody else in here that was broke like me? Yeah. Anybody? I mean, I was so broke if somebody robbed me, they'd just be practicing. <laughs> y'all know that, right? Listen, I'm going to get all the jokes out now. I was so broke. I used to eat cereal with a fork to save the milk. <laughs> Seriously, I, I was a music teacher. I didn't have no money. Money? What was that? I remember getting my girlfriend an assistant coach bag. <laughs> Seriously. Listen, I used to buy gas by the half a gallon. No money. But today, we are million-dollar earners, y'all. Y'all ain't excited. So what's one of the keys, you all? Let me give you some nuggets. Let me give you some keys. When you're a leader, I just want to give you the keys. How do we go from a, 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 a one recruit to a million dollars? How do I have 18 RVPs now, 10 first generation? How do we do that? One of the things as a leader, because all of you are the leaders if you want here. Now, y'all listen, this is, this is something that I really want you to focus on. And sometimes we miss this. Once you become a leader, you have to understand that there are more things about you that you have to change to become successful than there are things you have to learn. See, you don't have, you, we already as leaders know how to do the presentation. We know how to recruit people. See, there are things about you you have to learn. And one of the things is you got to understand some of the keys to success. There are two components that I truly believe that you have to make sure not only you but your team have to become successful to go to that next level. And the first one is self-discipline. See, it's amazing how we know what to do, we know how to do it, but we don't do it. It's like the flesh is so weak, we know we should talk to this person. We know we should call this person. We know we should make more phone calls. But for some reason, the flesh is weak and we don't do that. Don't let the devil trick you. Don't trip over a penny on your way to a million. Don't allow temporary issues to stop your permanent goals and dreams. Benson Watt taught me that, senior vice president out of Ivan Earl's hierarchy. The other thing is this, stop fighting against the principles of success but you want the principles of success to work for you.